Next, we got this awesome. This is this is a cool article. This this is a shout out to the Air Force. I don't know if you noticed, I got this uh, awesome plaque. This is from the United States Air Force. This flag was flown for the Timcast News team, and uh, in a C one thirty H Hercules. Uh, really cool plane, by the way. You should check it out. It can uh, take off and land. It's got like rocket boosters going forward and backwards. Uh, really dope. And anyway, shout out to the Air Force. Uh, anyway, check us out. The Air Force is pushing forward with Skyborg combat drones to deploy alongside manned fighter jets. The two San Diego uh, defense contractors have made the cut for the U.S. Air Force's 400 million Skyborg Vanguard program, which aims to integrate a family of combat drones alongside manned fighter jets on critical missions. Cool. Oh, that's cool. The Air Force announced Thursday that General Atomics and Kratos Defense will join Boeing and Northrop Gr uh, Grunham in completing or in competing to build prototype robotic aircraft ranging from jet-powered loyal wingman drones to intelligent surveillance planes for tactical missions. Very, very cool. Tapping artificial intelligence and other technologies will... Uh, that allow them to adapt to various battlefield conditions. Though these Skyborg developed drones are expected to begin flying with pilot piloted aircraft by 2023, because uh, autonomous systems can support missions that are too strenuous or dangerous for manned crews. Skyborg can increase cap uh, capability significantly and be force multiplier or multiplier for the Air Force," uh, said Brigadier General Dale White program executive office in a statement we have the opportunity to transform our war fighting capabilities and change the way we fight and the way we employ air power look at this this is dope can i get a full screen on this picture yeah look at that that is dope man i wanted to be this guy growing up i wanted to be this dude so look that's six now i'm, I'm gonna keep reading about this because this is, uh, oh, did I just did I have to go back? Yeah, okay. Let's keep, let me finish the article first. Skyborg also aims to lower costs. Analysts estimate the base selling price for some of these combat drones will be as low as $3 million to $5 million per plane. That makes sense because you wouldn't have to worry about having uh, to take care of a human inside of these planes. It could just be, you know, break it all that stuff out of, out of the way and you're good. That's marketably less than the state-of-the-art piloted fighter jets such as the F-35, which can run up to 100 million per aircraft. The Skyborg program comes at a time of heightened com uh, competition among nations globally for technology dominance on the battlefield. It's one of three so-called Vanguard programs that are part of the Air Force Science and Technology 2030 initiative to deliver game-changing capabilities to Air Force operations. U.S. Air Force inventory needs are significant for tactical drones over the next 10 years, says Peter Arment, an analyst with Baird Equity Research. General Atomics uh, Aeronautical Systems, based in po Poe, is the longtime maker of the Predator and other drone platforms of various military branches and government agencies. As part of the vendor pool for Skyborg, it will complete compete with the three companies for orders under the program, says a company spokesman. Kratos Defense's drone business is based in Oklahoma, though the company is headquarters in San Diego. It takes target drones for training purposes, it, but it also builds more sophisticated unmanned aircraft. Its XQ-58A jet-powered drone completed multiple flights and hit milestones that the Air Force requested last year. Kratos has been and remains committed to advancing affordable unmanned technologies, and we are proud to be a Skyborg Prime contractor, said Steve Fendley, head of the company's unmanned systems division. Uh, Northrop Gunman uh, Grumman also has a division in San Diego working on autonomous technologies for the military, though its Skyboard efforts are centered at the company's Palmdale factory. Analysts think Kratos is a good spot to win orders in the Skyborg program with its Valkyrie jet-powered drone, in part because of the Air Force's focus on low cost and development speed. Uh, Kratos has completed several flight tests with the Valkyrie with different aircraft, and the company appears to have a head start relative to the other potential aircraft in the program, says Ken Herbert, an analyst with a con, uh, Canaccord Genuity? I don't know. 
Very cool. You know, there was an article I read uh, six months ago, back when I was on the Timcast IRL show. We actually did a segment on it. And it was the military was actually studying um, gamers, right? They were putting nodes on their head and, and watching the brainwaves work as they played StarCraft. Now, I don't, I don't know how many people out there play StarCraft or have played in the past, or hey, if you played RTS games, real-time strategy games, uh, like Warcraft, StarCraft, those those games are the, the two ones that I really like. And they were studying the way that these gamers would control movements of troops slash uh, groups of troops. So now I see this, this picture. I'm going to bring this picture back up because it's really cool. If you could think about it, right? Think about Neuralink, right? Neuralink is a direct link co connected directly to your brain. Reading your brain um, triggers your 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 brain waves firing. You know, so if you if this pilot thinks, all right, let me, I'm gonna send this the my right wingman. You know, this this smaller plane up in the top corner. He's gonna go over and you know get behind the person that's behind me. He can think that. He could tell that, and it'll go. So he can be doing his own thing in a dogfight, send each individual one of these drones just by brainwaves alone to go do these things. Now, I absolutely think this is the future. I'm not saying this is the case, but they were basically saying that this is what's going to happen. They, they're going to accompany a manned aircraft to significantly improve what this person can do. If he can't handle the G's to turn around and get behind someone who's behind him, but he can send two drones off to the side, send a couple drones over to do, you know, to, to bomb, you know, that missile factory, it, you know, obviously if we were in war with somebody, you know, hopefully that doesn't come to that. But the this is really like an advancement of, of man, of science and, and military tech, because this is really interesting. So anyway, that's, uh, that's that I'm really excited for the debates tonight. H how many of you watching? I'm going to watch, I'm going to go hang, hang the TV for the house. I guess I'm the only, um, only person in the house that uh, Tim trusts to hang the big, huge, heavy TV on the, on the wall. Uh, it's not too, it's not too difficult. You just got to find the, the studs. We have a stud finder, so it's not too hard. And, uh, yeah, so let, let's, uh, read some super chats, but before I do, something I need to do I don't know if you noticed a certain something isn't spinning now I don't know if anyone has super chatted me to to have me do this but I'm gonna I'm gonna jump the gun here and I'm gonna spin it for you this is for everybody here watching me right now spinning that UFO there it is there it is there it is all right it's spinning nice spin it spin 